I'm Gene Kaiser, this is Dave Kaplan, we're Registrar USA. What we're going to, going to demonstrate in the next few videos is uh, the history of the C-pin function that started back in uh, the late 1980s with the Honda. Um, here we have on the test uh, stand is the Nippon Denso uh, 13325 Lester number. And we're going to demonstrate uh, the difference, uh, what the C-pin does on this unit and the FR terminal under um, certain load conditions and, and testing conditions. And this will be the first video of a series of C-pin functions. And um, we hope that uh, you enjoy the, the video. You can see on the screen our test setup. You notice we've got two uh, digital meters and we're going to monitor the FR signal of the regulator and the C pin of the regulator as we run the C function test. Uh, the alternator, uh, as Gene said, is a Denzel that fits the early Hondas, 91 uh, and 92. And uh, it's got four terminals. It's got the C terminal, the FR, the ignition, and the lamp. And what we've done is we've just skinned back the uh, wire leads on the harness so that we can uh, interface with our two digital meters. Now what's going to happen in the video is Gene's going to start the bench up and once we get it stabilized, uh, we're going to show you the FR signal uh, under two conditions. We're going to show it to you under uh, no load and then loaded. And as you'll see, the FR signal will drop down when it's loaded. Now you can see that the FR signal is high, it's unloaded, there's only a 10 amp load, voltage on the bench is 14.6 volts, and when Gene loads the system, the FR signal drops low. What happens is on this Honda dual mode charging system is uh, the dual mode system uh, actually operates with a bunch of different sensors giving information to the ECM. The main uh, sensor is the ELD or electronic load detector uh, module and as you saw in one of our earlier screens when we saw you, showed you the schematic of the dual mode system, you saw the ELD uh, shown in the schematic which is connected to the PCM. The PCM looks at the ELD, the compressor clutch uh, switch, and other different loads and sensors to determine which mode the uh, alternator will be in. The dual mode system has two modes. One is the high output mode, which is uh, used during uh, startup and a light electrical load system, or excuse me, during the uh, load system, loaded uh, high output mode. And the voltage in high output mode would be between 14.4 and 14.9 volts. The uh, low output mode, which takes place when the PCM decides to ground the C terminal, would be between 12.3 and 13.2 volts. And uh, what happens under those conditions is the ECM will be looking at the FR signal. And it'll be looking at the uh, FR, which is just a reflection of the uh, rotor voltage and the uh, rotor pulse width. And as the demand on the system goes up, the rotor pulse width is lengthened so that the field's on longer, and therefore the alternator can put out more amperage to uh, cover all the electrical loads. 
and then during the low output mode, the pulse width of the rotor is shortened to uh, a low duty cycle and uh, this uh, in effect takes the load off the engine and this helps during startup, uh, makes the vehicle easier to start because of less drag on the motor and also helps fuel mileage. So this was the main purpose for the dual mode system in the first place to uh, have these two functions. And a lot of times during the C function test when the voltage drops down below 13 volts uh, some technicians might think that the charging system isn't working. Well, under the uh, low output mode uh, conditions, really it's not charging the battery, it's just maintaining the voltage. Now, there's certain parameters that have to be met before the low output mode system will uh, be in effect and the PCM can actually pull the voltage low to the ground on the C pin. If you look at the C uh, terminal right now in the multimeter, you see that the voltage is about 5.3 volts. The ECM will hold this voltage high until it decides it needs to go into the low output mode and then it will actually pull that voltage down to ground and unload the field. So Gene's going to go ahead and uh, set up the test and the test conditions for uh, low output mode are uh, 3,000 RPM, a 13 amp load, and then of course the AC switch has to be off, the engine has to be up to operating temperature, and the vehicle has to be traveling between 10 and 45 miles an hour. And then those are the conditions that can be met. Now we're going to show you the actual C function test twice because what we'd like to do the first time is have you watch the voltage on the Alt-98 drop down, and then the second time we look at it, uh, we'd like to have you watch the C voltage as the ECM lets that voltage be pulled down to ground. So now we're at 13 volts, and it's stabilized. Now we're going to show you on the meter the drop. We're at 5 volts and now it's pulled down all the way to ground. It happens very quickly as you can see on this bench because in that effect when he pushes the C terminal test on the bench it's acting like the ECM doing the same thing on the vehicle. But the ECM will actually hold the C voltage down as long as it needs to uh, until the conditions change. In, the, in other words like a load would appear on the system. So this was the first generation of the C-Function uh, regulators, and uh, we hope you enjoyed the video.